Hey guys, Harsh here, back in video. So in this video, I'll be modifying this ESP32 board and uh, add an external antenna to it. So that way it will give us some extended range. But uh, let me warn you that uh, this is a pretty sophisticated work. So only do this if you are comfortable with uh, soldering small components onto the PCB and not ruin your entire ESP32 board. So as you can see on the top there, we have some sort of lines over here. This is actually the antenna, which is coated in black paint. So as you can see, this uh, zigzag pattern over here as you can see so we'll be replacing this built-in antenna with uh, this larger antenna as you can see and this is just a standard uh, Wi-Fi antenna that you can find in uh, literally any shop but uh, make sure that it supports the 2.4 gigahertz frequency that uh, the board operates on so along with this uh, this came in a package you will also find this so this is a simple SMA connector so let me just remove the safety cover and there you can see this uh, directly screws on just like so like that and it has also an external wire there and it directly goes to here which is an ipex connector i believe as you can see pretty small but uh, we don't need that we'll just uh, cut the wire somewhere here and solder it directly onto the board over here and you can also directly solder the sma connector onto the pcb itself over here some other guys have also done that on youtube so you can check those videos out as well but uh, for me i will be just using the antenna and the wire so that i have a bit of freedom on where the antenna would poke out and mainly i'm doing this because i have a very huge upcoming project so if you are interested and in checking that project out i will just give a hint of it in the description below and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for that project so without wasting time let's get started so the first step would be to remove the shielding or the paint on top from the top of the this antenna so i'm just using a blade over here so just scrape away all the paint very carefully and make sure not to damage the tracks or anything like that so right now as you can see it is just enough scrape for our solder to solder on and connect our wire and now that it is done we have to do the second wire this second one over here as you can see and you can identify easily with these sort of uh, pads sticking out or the copper pads over here as you can see so we will now just uh, remove the shielding from this wire as well so as you can see now both the tracks are exposed now what we have to do is sever the connection between them so if you look closely here you can see that uh, both these tracks are connected via this track over here so what we have to do is just uh, slice it so that there is no connection between them because if uh, we don't remove this track then the antenna will function as normal with uh, this sort of range and it will just create a lot of mess in the signal so just do that so just use your razor blade again and cut it so as you can see now the connection has been severed between the two wires and this will take a lot of force to do it because you have to dig into the PCB a bit and I actually did this in reverse so first what you have to do is just sever the connection just to get an idea on how the strong the paint and the copper wires are and once you are familiar with that then you can carefully scrape the paint off of the main tracks once you have an idea on how much pressure to apply and you also need to scrape away the remaining part which is connecting to this portion over here so we will scrape away this one and then we will move on from there so now you can clearly see how the connection is uh, from each and every port over here there are basically two obviously and now what we have to do is uh, modify our wire so as you can see the antenna comes with this uh, long wire now once you remove the shielding onto the wire you can see that uh, it is covered in this sort of mesh that is actually the ground wire so what you have to do is just uh, cut a little slit on it in the line of the wire so it will go just like this this is just to reveal the inside which is the second wire so just uh, segregate that all in one place and uh, remove any sort of loose strands or whatever and once you do that you will find another wire inside the insulation so just remove the insulation from that as well so in the end as you can see you will be left something like this so the outside wire is sort of in this uh, offset position and the inside wire is on the top as always as you can see and this is basically how the coaxial cable works so the one wire which is the ground wraps around the positive wire so that it is shielded from outside uh, interference now what we have to do is just apply some solder onto the ESP32 here so let me just heat up my solder and, and quickly do that 
so as you can see a uh, very little solder is sticking on but uh, that's okay now we have to do the pre-soldering for the wire as well so as you can see this is what it looks like after it is completed but uh, there is no change over here whatsoever now what we have to do is just solder it onto the PCB here. so just keep that in mind the inside wire which is the positive goes to the if we look at this way the left side of the ESP32 so the left track it will go there and the other one obviously will go to the, the other side so let's just solder it quickly the middle one to the left track and now the ground to the right side and that is it that's how you connect an antenna to the ESP32 board now there are some post procedures that we need to perform first one is to put some hot glue on the top so that uh, in any chance the some wires get tangled a bit it won't short the circuit and uh, that's pretty much about it and what we have to do is next is to test the board obviously but uh, I will do that in a separate video this is just a basic video on how we can connect it to the ESP32 board so now we can connect our antenna to our SMA connector just like so and place it wherever you like so there you guys now you have successfully attached an external antenna to your esp32 module so hopefully this video was helpful for you and if you like this video you can obviously hit the like button if you dislike it you can dislike it and comment down below why do you dislike it so thanks for this video guys and i will see you all later